Hello and welcome to our discussion of E3. It's Lane here and I've got Gerald and Zeno with me. What's up? And today we're going to be going over a few of the of the games I wanted to point out from E3 this year. Now there's a lot of interesting games beyond what we're talking about here, but um, I just wanted to center around a few that I personally found interesting and wanted to talk about. So first on the list, and possibly the best on the list, <laughs> Last of Us 2. Oh lord. Uh, Alright, here we go. About five minutes of fangirling about this. <laughs> I love the first game so much. It's such a good game. And the second one looks like it'll be just as good, if not better. So I... I don't like the I'm way just... they way they presented it at E3 was absolutely wonderful. Like they had that whole little cutscene, but then they actually showed actual gameplay. And the gameplay looked fluid. Yeah. Like it looked... It looked like it was like coming from an actual movie type thing. Which makes me a little bit weary, but at the same time, it's like, bro. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, the first one I liked, but my only problem is that it went a little slow. That yeah. was really my only yeah, problem I feel, with it. I feel like because Last of Us is to be very story heavy. You, yeah. This is coming from someone who hasn't never played the game. I don't even know what happens. <laughs> so all, I know, all I know is that it's something very sad happens. But, uh... uh Zombies and sadness. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> but like basically, it's like it's gonna be very story. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a slow start. But as long as it has a good story that'll hook you in to make you want to continue playing, it's good. The only thing about it is replayability because it's like a lot of problems with these story-driven games is that once I know the story, it's kind of hard for me to get past that slow point again. Feel me? Yeah. Cool. What? Don't give me that <laughs> right. look. Um, so, uh, anyone else have any other comments on it? Only besides the fact that I think it'll be really good and I do have a lot of high hopes for it. Just my other problem is how slow it can get. Yeah. I think another thing about the trailer that was interesting. Like, I, I'm just not thinking about this, but like, one thing I found interesting is like when you're actually picking up weapons, you actually see the animation of her like getting the arrows and pulling yeah. the arrows out of people as opposed to it just kind of like... You walk up to them and they just kind of disappear. Yeah, in the they room. have a yeah. lot of attention to detail, and they, I they, always yeah. love that. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing the the attention to detail that's in this game. I mean, Naughty Dog has always been great about making great games. You know, just very polished, well done games. I mean, heck, they made the rich, they made the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy and Crash Team Racing. They made uh, <laughs> Jack and Daxter. Uh, they made Uncharted. Right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they made Uncharted, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure they made Uncharted. Okay. <laughs> they, they possibly made Uncharted. Possibly. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's right, because it was like it was like three games and then a racing. That's when we were all racing for the... We were all waiting for the Uncharted racing game. No, wait, no. Wait. Uncharted. Because cause the thing... Wait, was, Uncharted... Are you sure you're talking about the right game here? Yeah. Uncharted racing it. game. No, no, this... No, I'm not saying there is one. That's what we were waiting on. Because, like... No. But Crash. Crash. Three games, and then a racing game, then they left. Jack, three games, Gerald, racing, Gerald, left. Gerald, Gerald, shut the okay, fuck up. I, I see what you mean now. But, yeah, yeah, you see But in my head, I was just like, what do you mean a fucking Uncharted <laughs> racing game? How the hell is Nate, are we gonna get to Nathan Drake racing terrorists? <laughs> hey, I would pay to see that. that I would, would it would be amazing, <laughs> but I mean. How would they, they would possibly keep... get to that? <laughs> That's why we need to wait for Last of Us 3 and then the Last of Us racing game. That's all I'm saying, man. Okay, oh my that... god. And if you think the Uncharted racing game is wild and, and amazing, the Last of Us racing game would be Oh, better. fucking Christ. <laughs> why? Because if people stay dead or something? <laughs> just like... <laughs> Once you knock out the races, that's just it. You're like, dead. Most, <laughs> of the, most of the playable characters are just zombies. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be dead. Your old customizable zombie. That actually... Oh. It's not even a racing game. You're like running. So it's like Sonic R. You're running. Uh. Basically. But like just imagine like, instead of a ra it's it's somewhat like a race, but if you go too slow, you get caught by the zombies. Oh. So like Temple Run. Ooh. I'm just saying. No, I'm, like, I'm not thinking like Temple Run. I, I'm just like, saying. I'm just saying. Naughty Dog, we pitched some ideas for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to, like, link me up, you know. Oh, my God. Love this, love this business at gmail.com. <laughs> we know what the people want. <laughs> oh, my God. And by the way, before I forget, 
Um, there will be a video on both Xena's channel, two videos Aside. on Xena's channel, and a video on Gerald's channel as well of our discussions on various E3 games. Like, we're each taking sort of the head on each one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine's so, gonna be, be like the Bethesda stuff and Fallout. And my and I'm basically Sony and Sonic minus Left 4 Dead, obviously. And and I'll be sure to to link their channels, and they'd better be sure to link ours too. <laughs> I feel like you're talking to me. And I don't <laughs> <you>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the next game then? Yeah. yeah go ahead, right. bro. Um, the next game I wanted to highlight was a. Ori 2. Yeah, and it was like Will of the Wisp, I think? Or, yeah, The Will of the Wisp. Yeah, okay. So, for any of you that have been on my channel for a little bit, or a while, or anything, these games are <laughs> in my wheelhouse. Pop your hands up. You and don't it, even watch his videos. And... trying to talk me. It's <laughs> <laughs> sorry, This bitch ass poser over here. <laughs> should, should I even continue talking? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, anyway, It's just time to throw shit at me. Okay. No! No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and if you haven't watched my channel, that kind of game was in my wheelhouse. So, <laughs> so basically, it um, it's a sort of a platformer, but it's a lot more in-depth and has like a lot of 3D... 3D and like special power elements to it as well and like there's a lot of like mysticality to it and like magic sort of stuff and it just it looks stunning it looks really good oh it looks beautiful like I, I'm really a big fan of the artistic I really love the direction of, of the music really oh yeah that too like the music is very atmospheric but it also has like a bunch of high and low points like you, you can tell it's not just some Random trailer fodder. It had, yeah. I mean, Grant, it gives that whole indie game feel, but I think that's a good thing because it shows that indie games nowadays can be a lot more artistic. Yeah, they yeah. really can. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't if, know what else to if say. If anything, most indie games are more artistic. That's what I really love about them. Like, there's a lot of hidden gems out there. There really are. And, it's just. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Well, okay, what are you coughing for? Ib. Okay, then sit, then you, you gotta cough and say Ib. I just did. Cough. You just yeah, no, you did. Ib. <laughs> you just <laughs> Ib. I said it. Whatever. You just. Like, <laughs> Undertale. Well, <laughs> like, you didn't hear what I said in the cough. <laughs> so, so that's how you do it. You just, I said like, it. Undertale. Man. I'm just. I'll Not, just say <laughs> that. I what? You don't know what I mean? <laughs> the game looks very good. <laughs> Okay. Oh I, I just God. said the game looks really good. It looks like it's gonna be one of those like silent, you know, one of those games that tells a story like, but it's silent and, and, and little nightmares. And to be fair, I've never really played those kind of games, but it's like, eh, it looks like I'd give it a try, especially because I mean, the gameplay. You game know looks what fun. they're like if you, you know, watched my video. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't know what they're like. I just said I don't know what it's like. I just said I didn't know what it's like to like actually experience like play them. I guess. Yeah. Well, it varies from which one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's just. Like, Full Nightmares is amazing, but it's also broken controls at times. <laughs> the point is. like the weird physics to it. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Anyway, Ori in the Blind Forest. Or, Ori in the Blind Forest is the first game I've been. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. I, I would I would like to play it. And I will be playing Ori in the Blind Forest at some point during this year, because uh, the second game is supposed to come out in 2019, so I have time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, anyway. Next game. Cyberpunk 2077. Uh... Uh, I can't say that I've really been wowed by the trailer. But I will say that, like, it, if it includes a lot of the stuff that it had in the trailer in the ga actual game, too. Like, where you're going around, with, around a crowded city with, like, all this various stuff to do. It could actually be a, a really, really good game. Like, if they're actually able to commit to including a ton of stuff and not just have it be like a kind of basic yeah it just kind of looked apocalyptic it looked game. like it was like not more focused on the it was more focused on showing us like this actual world and of being like cyber 
you know, everything's kind of cybernetic in yeah. the year 2077, which seems to be the year that everyone wants to go to in the future. But, like, it's it seems very futuristic and more focused on the world. I didn't really care for that. I'd prefer more of, like, a focused... Or, like, it seemed to have one primary focus. I don't know. It just felt like it was jumping all over the place kind of thing. The for thing me, is... Oh, oh, good. Oh, I was going to say, like, for me, it looked really good. Stunning graphics. I really like the idea. It's just that I really wouldn't want to play it because it gave me that Beyond Two Souls kind of feel. Yeah, it was like, yeah. I, I didn't really get a good sense... It gave me a good sense of the word, but I didn't get a good sense about how the game is. Like, is it a shooter? Yeah. Is it an action adventure? Is it like, yeah. you know, kind of like a blonde two souls or Detroit become human type game? Like, I didn't really get a good idea. But it, I mean, I'll give it this. The world seems very creative, I guess. Well, in my opinion, though, the thing about the world is that, like, it is creative. Yeah. But it's also really similar to a lot of other uh, similar worlds, you know? Like, yeah. It's hard to make like a futuristic society and be unique, and some, some are able to do that really well, yeah. You know, but others, but a lot of them fall into a lot of the same molds, like of course post-apocalyptic ones yeah. like Mad Max and Fallout, or futuristic cities like this, or even more futuristic, futuristic cities like Star Wars. It's you just. Know, um... I mean, oh, like, I mean, like, a technology beyond our technology. I was going to say, you know what kind of a feel it gave me? What? what? Um, Blade Runner. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what it kind of reminded me of, is, like, Blade Runner and uh, Altered Carbon, if you've watched that on Netflix. Oh. It kind of gave me a feel for that, but it kind of felt, like, less unique than either of those. Yeah. I mean, I guess the robot thing in the eye design, but, like, yeah. cool. But again, because it didn't really show us any mechanics, it didn't give us an idea. Yeah. I don't even know what kind of game this is going to be. Oh, yeah. that, that's like the main thing, though, is like for me, and I'm, I'm guessing from you guys too, is that it's pretty much a crab shoot. It could be an amazing game, or it could really be a disappointment. On the way, it didn't really, like, I guess it gave me intrigue enough to where yeah. I'll... It's intriguing. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, I guess, but it's like, it's one of those, like, if I don't, if I don't get it, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. Yeah, for me, it's kind of like, Again, like a heavy story base, so I wouldn't mind watching somebody play it, but I really wouldn't want to spend my time and money playing it the entire time. Or even time so much I as can... keep up with it, really. Yeah. Just kind of like if I hear something in passing, I'll, I guess I'll do it, but I'm not going to yeah. go out of my way to look for I'm it. I'm basically just going to wait to see if people say if it's good or bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, as soon as they show more trailers that show more about the gameplay... And like give us a better idea of what kind of game this is going to be, then then I'll probably have more okay. judgment then. It just kind of feels like unless they say it's good in an interesting way or bad in an interesting way, I'm just kind of like leaning towards it's going to be in the middle, and I'll probably be somewhat interested, but not a lot. Yeah. And they can't all be hitters. That's all it is. But again, it has that a, a potential interest factor there. It could be good. That is from Microsoft, right? I th- yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah, I remember. I think this is in the Microsoft one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I saw it all over Tumblr yesterday, so. Okay. So next, I have Battletoads. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and they showed next to nothing but, like, something like a 90s trailer, which I appreciate. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just. It was something about how the visuals looked versus like the frog. T- the, I'm sorry, the toad tongue. Yeah. Going in, it's like that doesn't look like that has anything to do with anything else. I that know. I'm seeing. But like, it really feels like they're gonna try and pull for that nostalgia factor. And but again, I, this is a game that has potential to be good. But we know nothing about it yet. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, same here. I think it's just. There's not much to say about it because they didn't show anything. But I guess it's just. It's pretty much running on that same train that. Uh, Crash Bandicoot yeah. did, Spyro is currently doing, to much greater effect, and Bubsy, for some reason. <laughs> Don't even put <laughs> Bubsy. But he did it, like, whether or not it was good or not, he, he did, did it. He did a game. <laughs> and it was a reboot kind of thing. Like, we're, we're at this weird state where now we're starting to revitalize older uh, nostalgia well, yeah. properties. It happened a lot with the games... Not games, uh, movies and TV shows a lot, but now it's kind of like moving more into games, which I think is interesting. I mean, you have some like Zelda and Mario, which what are still always been around doing... and have still been going, but in a sense, they've been rebooted as well. Because, like, you go from the, the Wii U stuff with like the Mario, the traditional Mario Brothers, yeah. to something like Mario Odyssey, which has kind of been revolutionary. I mean, same, same for like going from stuff like Skyward Sword to Breath of the Wild. 
Was that really the last game? Yes, yes. Yeah, there wasn't like a good... I mean, there was a, like a link between Warriors I mean, for the I, 3DS. I know there was like a... Yeah, there were 3DS games. I knew that. Yeah, there was 3DS. I'm talking as far as like console games. I could have sworn Twilight Princess was the most recent one. No, no, because Twilight Princess was, you know, it was already released way before. I don't know uh, what y'all are talking about. Zelda. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was because it was originally released for the GameCube then re-released for the Wii. And then it got HD release again. I mean, Battletoads is interesting as far as, like, nostalgia factor. And I mean, like... put it like this. I talked more about other games in Zelda than Battletoads. Let that speak for itself. <laughs> it's <laughs> probably going to be bad, but it could surprise. Uh... Um, next, Cuphead. Yes! I really want to play Cuphead so I've, bad. I've, I've, I, admire, okay. I admire Cuphead. I'm, okay. Like, I absolutely adore the soundtrack for Cuphead. Like, I, I actually just listen to it when I'm just doing trips because it's just, I love the jazzy 1920s feel. I was like, ha, 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 I used to sign shoes to this and I wasn't allowed at oh white restaurants. <laughs> I, mean, I do like that people are kind of taking, like, older aesthetics and, like, revitalizing them between this and Bendy in particular. Yeah, it's just, it, yeah. it has a very unique art style. It has a very, it has, like I said, jazzy music that I just, I, I adore it. I love just for reference, my, my Flora Fury and then that uh, King Dice House song. Yeah. I absolutely adore that. Well, um, anyway, so what they showed is like a DLC for it called The Last Delicious Course. <laughs> the Delicious was, Last Course. Yeah, Delicious Last Course at, at order. And um, I just thought that was kind of clever because that stands for DLC. <laughs> Took me a while to and get him. that. <laughs> I didn't and, even get it at all and, until he said it. And in that, yeah. they're introducing a new female character. It's like a chalice. chalice. Which is weird because I don't remember you being able to switch between like Cuphead and Mugman. Oh well, yeah, but I, I think I'll get this more as like kind of a, a nod towards Pac-Man and other games like that, where they added in a female character. Yeah, but but like I'm like, how is that? I mean, especially I with like her jumping at the end, that yeah. really reminded me of Pac-Man. Yeah. I, I was gonna be like, is it gonna be like kind of like they're gonna put in a thing where you can be able to choose what character you want to play as? Like if you want to play as Mugman, but you don't have to be played too. Is it gonna make it to where there's three, three players can play at the same time? Maybe it's like how New Super Mario Bros. did it with the Toads. <laughs> Just pick who you want. Uh, first player's Mario. <laughs> That's sad. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, I, I don't know. It's just... It kind of concerned me about how that's going to work and as far as players, but, you know, these are the people who come here. They spend a lot of time working on this. I'm sure they have something already ready. I mean, they just have... And that's the thing. is like, I don't really... I would I hadn't seen enough where I would be confident in most other games, but knowing how well that these people can do, I have confidence that they'll make it work. Yeah. I mean, there's not much else to say. New bosses, new yeah. weapons, new charms. Haven't played it before, so... I, I haven't played it, but I've seen it played all the way through. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it played. I know what to expect, but I haven't experienced it. Yeah. I don't really know anything about it. I've seen like maybe five minutes of it. That's it. It's really hard. Yeah. But that, that shouldn't be a reason to discourage anyone. Because you know, like, there are tons of games that are hard that you can still find enjoyment in it. I mean, come on. It just, it just depends on how, how much do you want it. Like, this is one of those games that's like, it's hard, but it gives you that whole... I, give me one more. I can do it again. Instead of yeah. like just being like, screw this. I don't want to do. It's not like gonna de completely deplete your motivation. It's just gonna like motivate you more. Like, oh man, I was so close. I can and get I, this. I know. We, I know we talked about the original, but another thing that the original Cuphead did that is just absolutely amazing was how they had a progress bar to show how far you got in the boss fight. Yeah. So it was like, oh, okay. So like, you go. You could tell if like you were doing damage. It was like. Okay, so I know I'm doing something. I have to start from the beginning, but I know I'm getting somewhere. Then just like a random boss fight where you just find out the entire time you've done nothing. We're still yeah. at zero. <laughs> that pisses me off when I've been fighting a guy for two hours and I barely did it. Oh no, that's not his hit spot. Then why does he glow like I'm hitting him? Oh my god. Like that always like frustrates me whenever I'm like like in any game, is like whenever I'm fighting a boss and then I realize that I've been fighting them wrong for the past ten minutes and I've done nothing. At least with Cuphead, you... It's like, I it, died twice. I thought I was accomplishing something. At least with Cuphead, it tells you right as soon as you die, like, yeah, what you're doing, not working. <laughs> <laughs> you need to think of something else, dude. Uh, anyway, that yeah, one has a lot of potential. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. So next up is uh, Skull and Bones, which 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like cool, but so did Sea yeah. of Thieves. It, that didn't really turn out yeah. that well. Well, Sea of Thieves was awesome. Like, it's all right. And it's not even finished yet. So yeah, that, that's kind of that's probably the main. Release. That's kind of like the main thing. But like, it seems like it could. It seems like a more strategic game of Th Sea of Thieves, and like with a lot less interesting stuff. And it's adding in like tank ships and various strategy stuff and all this sort of things. And I mean, I'll give it this. It brings it brings it kind of twisted around the whole ship battle. Yeah. Thing. And be able to go in and so it's just. I like, want the the. What we were seeing wasn't actually that interesting. I mean, yeah, it was it was no. cool for itself, but like, it's just something didn't feel right about it. I, didn't I mean, like it, was, any like, it could have been it. it could have been made cool, but like, it just wasn't. But I mean, that, I just, don't know if that necessarily affects on the game, though. I don't know. It's just it's like the battles are cool, but then it got old, and it's just like. Oh, this is. I mean, the most interesting thing was like calling for help with other people and then finding that big ship. Yeah. But that was near the end. And then throwing him under the bus to save yeah. yourself. Yeah. It's just, it's just kind of like. I don't know. It's like. I guess it'll be tense. It's one of those games that'll be tense when you're actually in it. Like it could be a, a lot different than what we've seen. Like I think. You know what it I think it is? I think I, don't, I think it was the guy who was commentating. Yeah. He was I think not he. Good at it. I think he took away a lot of the energy. Wait, there is a guy talking over it. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's oh. Your point. I didn't even hear that. <laughs> point. Point proven. <laughs> like, cause the guy didn't have no life. He was just kind of narrating. Like, this is what happens next. Uh oh. There's a new ship. Time for us to go get it. But ruh -ro, there's more shit coming. <laughs> well, I think what we watched wasn't the trailer, but was actually like a gameplay example sort of yeah, thing. Probably, well, yeah, it was, from the e, it was the E3 mm -hmm. trailer that what we watched. So it was like, <sighs> the dude didn't really do a good job. Yeah, it could surprise, but that one doesn't look that promising. Not really. I mean, Sea of Thieves looked a lot more fun. I'm, def I'm, still, I'm still looking out for Sea of Thieves. It's just right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, now on to the last few games, which were going to be all Nintendo. What? So, Zena, you're free to walk out the room now. Awesome, <laughs> goodbye! Okay. <laughs> well, I You guys gonna... don't care about what I want to play! <laughs> well, no, I And then just... you say you want to walk out. It's not that, it's just Nintendo. I grew up on the PlayStation. Like, I, I feel so up... bad for you. Well, I had a Nintendo 64, which I played like Pokemon Stadium and Kirby 64 on all the time. That was like about it. I pretty much grew up playing games like The Sims and yeah. whatever other, A Time Crisis. I had a little gun with it. It was just yeah. everything else I didn't like. I mean, a lot of the Nintendo properties I didn't grow up with either. I only saw them through Smash Brothers. Like, I didn't have Star Fox or Metroid I, or a handful of others. No, I, I grew up with, like, I grew up with, like, PlayStation 2, but I played more, like, yeah. Crash Bandicoot and, yeah. you know, that, you know, games like that. And then, Spyro. of course, and of course, I was introduced to Sonic around that time, and that took its course. I somehow missed that whole furry stage, thank God. Um, <laughs> I didn't know there was a furry stage. I never went yeah, to a furry Sonic stage. Crash. You stay as you have Sonic behind you, always watching you sleep. I was thinking that, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so first off, Pokemon Let's Go. Um, these guys didn't watch it, but they also made a, a video for E3 of the, the trailer that we all watched together, which was basically just to show Xena. Um, uh, came out a week ago where they showed off uh, Pokemon Let's Go. First of all, let's get this out the way right now. Eevee over Pikachu. Hell yeah! Yeah! Obviously. I will judge you if you pick Let's Go Pikachu. I think, yeah, I think Dookie should put it best for me. That's like, I was going to go Pikachu, but it said Eevee. And I'm like, okay, screw Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, for those of you that don't know it, it functions about the same way as Pokemon Go does, except it's not in a real world setting. So you won't be walking around with it or anything like that. Or you can, of course, since it's a Switch and the Switch is portable. But anyway... You won't be walking around for it to like go and grab Pokemon. It's going to be set in the Kanto region and you'll play it on the Switch. But the game functions like Pokemon Go. Except now you're actually walking your player around and going to the Pokemon. It's like, I wouldn't say it functions more like, I feel like it's more like a hybrid. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a mix of It's like you get Poke, you you play like 
Pokemon as we know it and love it, I guess. But then you also have like Pokemon Go esque aesthetics, like the whole throwing your ball, yeah, kind of thing. Rubbing it. Yes. Yeah, your ball, <laughs> massaging your little Pikachu around. I bet he loves that. Pika P. <laughs> oh no. But just. I don't know, the game looks pretty interesting. And the fact that it showed only the Kanto region made me think, like, yeah. is this going to be a remake of, like, the original? Yeah, region? I think this is probably just, like, to get a cash grab of, like, the Gen 1ers, you know, the people it's that just... only care about the original games. I mean, I would very much like, I would very much like, I would very much like to, oh, I keep saying very much like to. <laughs> you would very much like to. You but would like, very much like to. No, but for real. Like but but for real, I would very much like, like to, like, play, like, what's... I mean, first, get a Switch. But secondly, <laughs> I would like to play this game and, like, you know, do a Nuzlocke run. It's kind of like my first. Yeah. You know, just kind of, like, do one just to do it. And just, because, like, nowadays I can't even play Pokemon normal anymore. I have to do a Nuzlocke because it's too gosh dang easy for me. I don't know. For me. Oh, look at Mr. Edgy over here. Uh, for me, it's not really that interesting. I think, like, the best part would have, like, the portable Pokeball so I can look like a complete loser in public, that's about it. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God, hey, watch you stroke my Pikachu. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, you, I mean, you... when you're feeling just, like, bored and alone, just, hey, Pikachu. Or you could just shake it violently and see what happens. Fuck you, you little fucking brat. <laughs> I wanted Eevee! <laughs> Fuck you, Mom! <laughs> I told her Eevee and she got me Pikachu! Pikachu doesn't even have an E in it. What are you doing? Shut up, mom, to buy all things. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but like for somebody like me, it definitely didn't draw me in. It's not something that I'd want to spend my money on. I yeah. definitely don't want to fucking buy a whole Switch for this. Yeah, this is definitely not like a whole. I want to get a Switch exclusively for this game. Like, like it's the, yeah, the Switch only has like three games I think that function like that though. And, and granted, PlayStation and a bunch of others don't even have that. I'd only buy the Switch to buy Skyrim. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like, like I don't know. Nintendo just has Smash Bros, Mario Odyssey, and Breath of the Wild. Those are the only real draws to get the Switch itself. Like the, the rest is just add-ons. Yeah, that, those are like the big games. It's like but to be fair, that, to that's more than it. Xbox for sure has. Yeah, for sure. I was I was about to say, Zeta, you definitely need to play this like with us sometime. Play what? A Nuzla. The fuck is that? What you okay, say basically, to me? it's playing Pokemon. But if your Pokemon die faints, then it's dead for good. Oh. And you have to release it. So it's it's a way to where you can actually lose. So if you lose all your Pokemon, then you just. You don't have any more Pokemon. So you lose fuck the game. You then. Yeah, basically. Like you'd have to it's, restart it's self, or give up. It's self-imposed rules, basically. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Fuck that. So I'm good. Well, you can play with this. It's not. It's, uh, I'm telling you, it's not bad. We'll it's see. fun. Uh, and you'll know nothing of what's going on at first, so it's gonna be really interesting since you're <laughs> relatively new to Pokemon. Yeah. The only thing I ever knew was Pokemon Stadium, which I played all the. Okay. Real question. Justin keeps asking me which Pokemon Stadium. Are there fucking two for the Nintendo 64? Because I only fucking knew one. I've never played it. I mean, there, no, there's only one. Also, he must be. He must be confused with Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> the, I mean, Pokemon Coliseum has two games. The Pokemon Stadium was only one. For the Nintendo yeah, 64. that's what I thought. He was just. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's about all that I ever played. I mean, I watched the show as a kid. I used to be yeah. in love with it. I had Pikachu, like, everything. Actually, my favorite was Charizard and Ninetales. My dad just bought me Pikachu everything. Got Pikachu. Uh. Well, well, I, think, I think we should do it with Nuzlocke, though. That'd be yeah, good. that'd be fun. And, um, as someone who plays a lot of Pokemon, although I haven't, I kind of gave up playing Pokemon Go after a few weeks, just because, like, I don't live near, like, in a city, so... I wasn't able to do that much with that game because it, it really is unbalanced towards people that live in very populated areas. Absolutely. So, like, I it just got, I don't know, but like, if you live out in the country and can't reach the Pocus Stops well, that you get the stuff from, I don't know, but like, I can't, I couldn't get resources or anything like that and it just got like, really frustrating and boring. I bet this was before he had his car, so. Yeah. Uh, well, even when I did have my car, well, like, 
I'm driving, so... All I did was I'd go spend the night at a friend's house. We'd walk around Elgin, which, you know, it's like a little yeah, band See, that's place. the problem. You have friends that you can spend the night with. What? Guys don't spend the night with each other? No. Why I... the fuck? At least we don't. No. Why? Because this is not... The, well, this isn't the time for this. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. so fucking weird. So anyway, po Pokemon Let's Go... We'll, we'll see what happens with it. And, and for the record, there are a lot of interesting things about it for someone that's either invested in Pokemon in general or invested in Pokemon Go. Like, there's two different versions, Pikachu and Eevee, which we already covered, and Eevee is vastly superior, of course. Of course. And you could dress them up! It's awesome! And, like, there is an actual battling mechanic in it, unlike Pokemon Go, and you can ride your Pokemon, well, not all of them, but some Pokemon you can ride around, which is really cool. And the rest follow behind you, like in a, how they did in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Which is just. Uh, it's interesting to see, especially with the new engine. Yeah. And it's. And do not mistake this is them, like, making it a main series game. It is not the main series game. This is not Gen 8. Yeah. Or close. I mean, I'm it, it's, just, it's just more something to appease the, the actually really large Pokemon Go audience and the Gen 1ers in, all in one. Which is a pretty clever move. It's, it's, it's a cash grab. It's, it's, I mean, but it's like it, a, a It's not grab. really a cash grab. I'd say it's just more like appeasing this, this side is, of the side of the This is money. Money is a motivator for this. That doesn't yeah. mean it's going to be bad or anything. It's that's just, not, I, that's I know it's only for money. Yeah, I'm just saying that is a main contributor. If not the... <laughs> it, it is a main contributor. <laughs> if not one of the main ones. Um, okay, so the next game is Mario Party 11. There's a lot of weird shit going on in this. <laughs> this game intrigues me. Like, first of all, they, it seems like they finally got rid of that stupid car. <laughs> yes, it's back to normal Mario Party. <laughs> like, there are actually stars and coins and all that? Which, okay, okay. Which I think, for the most part, is basically how the game is going to be. It's not gonna be like a revitalized Mario Party. It's just gonna be getting back to basics with maybe a few twists and turns added in. I mean, one thing that I thought is particularly interesting was Bowser was playable. Yeah. Which, he's usually the guy who's like, if you see him, he's about to mess you up and take yeah. your stuff. He's specifically not been a playable character because he's basically the thing you don't want to run into. But now that he's there, I wonder if it's gonna be like a... If, if there's gonna be a mechanic where like there's one player playing Bowser and if he runs into you he takes your stuff. That could be it. Or, maybe, or he's just a playable character and somebody just, else is out there. I don't, I don't know. It, it's just, it's intriguing. It's interesting. Eh, I don't think I could ever yeah. play that game unless I was playing it, like, as a drinking game. Well, yeah. been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost fucking died. I mean, but you lost, so... I mean, uh, so one thing to point out, though, for that game is that there was a lot of interesting things. Like, the dice mechanics have been really changed up, it seems. If Mario was able to roll a zero at one point, and for some reason his dice block has a ton of threes. It's like, it, seems, it seems like they're definitely embracing that whole zero dice block. Because I know there were some times where it's like, when we when you're like one space away from a really bad thing, and it's yeah. like, okay, if I roll anything, I'm gonna do it. So it's interesting to have like a zero dice block to say like, okay, there's a chance I won't be able to get it. But so, that'll make people that usually have trouble like being lucky and rolling high. It's about to get even worse. <laughs> oh gee, it's like I'm I'm wondering how to how they're gonna balance all of it, especially since Mario Party hasn't exactly had the greatest track record of good games to bad games. I mean, it usually has been pretty good up until 8. It's, it's, uh, 9 uh, and 10 sucked, 8 was okay, but before that was pretty great. Eh, I mean, 1 and 2 is not all that great. 2 is great. Eh. I disagree vehemently. 2 is great. I, I, I will, it's not 3, but it, 2 is great. I, I will, I will agree to disagree. Okay. Because, <laughs> not, not the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mini games looked interesting enough. Yeah, it seems to really incorporate the Switch. Like, there was this one where they connected two different Switch things together. Yeah, in order to make this whole little background. It's like, okay, so maybe I wonder if they had. Like, that was my phone. I wonder if they. <laughs> I wonder okay. if they. Okay, there goes mine. Oh. I wonder if they have like. No, I will punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> Jesus. I would just say I wonder if they have like different mechanic to where it's like uh 
they have like different mini games for when you're handheld, and then there's another set of mini games for when you're, you know, at home touching the TV, or maybe they have the same mini games, but it's like different functionality depending on whether you're doing handheld or if you're doing yeah. it on uh, the screen, and just you know other stuff like that. I don't know. It's just there's a whole bunch of things in that little bitty trailer that just it's it's a lot to get me excited again it's not one of those heavy hitters like yeah like Mario Odyssey to I'm not like, exactly excited but I am intrigued and a little bit hopeful for a better turnaround you know I'm glad they're finally listening to us when we say stop with stop with the cars and at least it's not the Mario Party top 100 <sighs> I don't know how you could have possibly screwed that up Nintendo but you did it <sighs> Well, now you have to pick up your phone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm good. I did pick up my phone. Thanks. What's next? Um, and then, of course, last on the list, Smash oh. Bros. 5. Yeah, I realized they called it Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, that's the new name, I think. And it's like, okay, so we'll do this Ultimate. One thing I found intriguing about it is that everybody is on the team. Yeah, they've had, I, th I don't know about everyone, but they've had, I think, pretty much everyone that's ever been in Smash Bros. Yeah, I mean, they have Snake, they have Pichu, they have Jigglypuff, they, they had a lot of people that I did not expect. And then they seem to have, like, other little tricks up their sleeve. Like how people are saying, like, oh, Ridley's gonna be a playable character. Yeah, so far I know Ridley's in, and of course the Inkling is in, and I don't remember if there was any other new characters. Like, I would personally like to see Crash Bandicoot and Spyro because it just, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. It just, it makes a lot of sense. And Unless there's like people cry things. for it, Goku probably still isn't in. I mean, you don't know that. <laughs> it would be incredible if he was, but he I just want this to be the last game and it just they just give him like, fine, look, here's Goku, you happy? <laughs> <laughs> and like, give us Naruto, God! <laughs> It's weird because they don't even need to show much of a trailer just to get people hyped and to like have that basis level of, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. I mean, last time they just said the name and people started getting all up in arms and hyped about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, Smash is, you know, it's a big commodity for Smash. I mean, for Nintendo. So it, it generates a lot of money. It gives a lot of chance for all these big players to uh, come together and fight each other. And it's it's one of the biggest fighting games out there right now. And, like, they've only released, like, three new uh, roster members. I feel like there's still a lot more to come. I mean, it's just... I mean, as far as the actual trailer itself, there's not much to say. Yeah. I think one thing I did find that was noticeable was that a lot of the characters had that same Final Smash, where they just kind of zip around the screen. Yeah. So it seems... So I wonder if they're going to make the uh, Smash moves a little more uh, templated. Yeah, maybe. I mean that. I mean in the sense that it's like it's yeah, it's, it's instead of each unique. one having a unique one, they'll have like it's like there's one that this is a power type character, so he's gonna have the power move, or this one and this one is like the flight speed character, so they're gonna have the speed type power, you know. And of course, it's just there's just a whole bunch of things. It's like we'll just have to wait and see what they have. But I mean, right now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, I'm always excited for a new Smash game. It's it's Smash Bros. Uh, yeah, there's, I mean, there's not, much, there's not much else to say about all those games. Just Those games seem pretty interesting. Some of them do, some of them don't. But at the end of the day, they're all just games. Nice ending point. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. Perfect outro. Play sad music. Not sad music, but like just... I don't, so yeah, I think we're done here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, don't forget to go check out the videos that are on Gerald's and Zena's channels. Be sure to like and subscribe, and like and subscribe to them too. And to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just said that like yes. that. Oh particularly Zena because she's just now starting out. It'll be her first videos. Yes. <laughs> That's my yes. thing. You know, fuck y'all. Yes. <laughs> yes. And also subscribe but, to Gerald. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck you. <laughs>
Who doesn't need your subscription? Everybody counts. But yeah, be a love muffin. That sounds fun. I mean, or be a Zenite. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Huh, no. I don't have weird names for my fans. I swear to God, if y'all call yourselves that, I'm gonna just kill myself. I'm Terrible. a Zenite. I'm a Z. I'm oh. a Zenite. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed E3. Um, be sure to go check out our channels. Maybe watch other videos too. You know, stick around. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, there's nothing to stick around for Gerald's channel. He never uploads. He's got past videos. You can only anyway. <laughs> we'll see you all in another video. Bye. See ya. Blugs.